Hey what is going on everyone this is iReviews back with another video and today I will show you guys 15 iPhone settings that I suggest you should never turn on on your device. Keeping these settings off will help you have better security, better privacy, better battery life and overall better performance on your iOS 13 device. Starting off with notes, if you go to settings and you go to the notes section, right here at the bottom you will find an option that says access notes from lock screen. If you go here we'll have three different options. Now I suggest you keep this at off or keep it at always create a new note. Because if you enable resume last note then someone will be able to access your last note even though your device might be locked. So you will have options here for a note created on the lock screen or viewed on the notes app. But if you want to be more secure then just keep it at always create a new note and then you can see right here if I'm on the lock screen tap right there to create a new note. I will be able to create a new note is blank here. And if I tap on all notes, I won't be able to view them without entering face ID or a passcode. The next setting we're talking about is found under iTunes and App Store. We're talking here about automatic downloads over cellular data. I suggest you keep this at off because if you have that on, then your iPhone will automatically download stuff even though you're connected to your cellular data not your Wi-Fi. And that's because not all people have unlimited data plans. So if your data plan is limited, make sure to keep this off and then of course you can download and update once you're connected to your Wi-Fi network, not over your cellular data. The same goes for video autoplay. So you will have it right here underneath the cellular data downloads. If you go here, you will have the option to turn Wi-Fi only or just keep it off. If you keep it on, then it will automatically play like video previews of apps and games on the app store, even though you might be connected to your cellular plan, which again, if it is limited, then I suggest you keep this off all the time or just go ahead and keep it at Wi-Fi only. Now, of course, one of the most important things on your iPhone and any smartphone is keeping your data private. So if you go to the privacy settings on your iPhone and scroll down here, you can find files and folders. So right here, we'll find a list of all the apps that have access to your files and folders. So what I suggest you do here is don't turn on apps that you actually don't need or don't use or kind of like don't know about them. They are not like well-known apps. Make sure to keep these off. So if it's an app that you don't want to have access to your files or folders, make sure to turn it off from here. So all the apps that you see here actually have access to your files and folders that you have on your iPhone or iCloud. So make sure you turn off those that you don't want to have access to your files. A new setting that has been added recently to iOS can be found under accessibility and then under Siri. And it is called always listen for Hey Siri. It is right here. I don't suggest you turn this on. So basically what this does is that it will always keep listening for Hey Siri, even though you might have your device face down on a table or on your pocket somewhere, it will always be listening and just waiting for your command. That of course will consume battery as it's always working in the background. So I suggest you turn this off immediately. If you go to the Siri and search settings, you can see here announce messages and then you will find here a section that says reply without confirmation. Make sure you don't turn this on as well. So basically, if you turn this on, it will just send a reply without first reading it to you and see if you have made any mistakes or something like that. Make sure to turn this off and then of course you will have Siri read the message first to you and then if you confirm everything is okay, that message can be sent. Every iPhone user should pay very close attention to the location services on their device and the way they're configured because location services will consume a ton of battery. So what you need to do is go to location services and of course you can keep it on but you will have to check the list of apps that you have and see to which apps you have granted access to your location and make sure you keep off all the apps that you don't need to have location for. So basically go do that and then go to system services and here are 
a lot of things that you should not turn on. Like you have stuff like location-based ads and iPhone analytics, popular near me and stuff like that that you probably don't even need. So you go ahead and keep them always off and not turn on. Now, there are of course important things here that need to have locations on, like you have emergency calls and SOS, make sure you always have that on. But the other stuff you can basically go ahead and turn off and not let consume a ton of battery out of your device. Under Face ID and Passcode, if you scroll down, you will have here a list of things that can be accessed from the lock screen even though your device is locked, like the notification center or control center, Siri reply with message and stuff like that. I suggest you never turn these on. Basically just go ahead and turn them off. Why would you want to have someone have access to this stuff? Like no notification center, someone can read at your notifications. Maybe reply to someone with a message, even though your device is locked. So what I suggest you do, go ahead and always keep these off. Like the today's view, notification center, control center, Siri, very important. Also reply with iMessage is very important. So go ahead and keep this off all the time. Another huge mistake that I see a lot of people do is keeping on always show preview on the notifications. So you have your iPhone laying somewhere on a table somewhere, you get a message or you get a notification on your social like a DM or something and someone can easily read your notification. Why would you want to do that? So go to settings and go to notification, then go to show previews and make sure you just tap on never or maybe when unlocked of course, you have your iPhone unlocked, it will show previews, but I suggest you keep this at never. So always there will be no preview of what's inside that notification. That of course will help your privacy a lot. You don't want someone to see what you have written on an iMessage or a DM or something like that. Another setting I suggest you should never turn on is found under sounds and haptics, and it is the first one there, vibrate on ring. So you have your iPhone on ring, why do you need it to vibrate? That will just consume a lot of battery on your iPhone. Now, vibration consumes a ton of battery. So make sure you turn this off. Of course, you can keep vibrate on silent, but if you have the ringer on, then of course, you don't need your iPhone to vibrate. The next setting is found under general and under airplay and hand off. Automatically airplay to TVs. If you go here, and leave that at automatic, your iPhone will basically all the time be discovering and automatically connecting to nearby AirPlay TVs that you have used frequently, of course. If you keep this at automatic, it will basically just stay scanning, that way it will consume battery and will consume also CPU power on your device. So I suggest you don't turn that on, keep it at never, so that way you can just connect when you want to and not have your iPhone all the time trying to discover an AirPlay TV nearby. Next up is a very well known setting found under accessibility touch and here we have a shake to undo. So I suggest you never turn this on. Now this is why with iOS 13 you have the new gestures with three fingers swipe to the left to undo swipe to the right to redo. You don't need this anymore. Now, if you keep this on, then of course you can accidentally just shake your device and undo something really important that you did and maybe even lost like some text or something that you have written. So just to be safe, make sure you keep this off all the time. You have now the new gestures with three fingers on the left, three fingers on the right to undo and redo. Now with iOS 13, Apple has brought a very interesting feature called the voice control. It is found under the accessibility section. It is right here. So here we have voice control. If you turn it on, then you will be able to basically control your device with your voice. But I suggest you don't leave this on all the time. It is a very cool feature, very useful, but probably most of the time you won't be using it, but it will be there and it is always basically listening to your command. So you can see if I enable it, there's the microphone and it is always listening. Now you can turn it on or off simply by saying wake up or go to sleep. But even though it's on sleep, it will still be listening to you because it will be listening for that command when you say wake up to start taking command. So it's basically all the time running in the background and that of course, you know, consumes battery and CPU power. 
The next setting that you need to turn off is also found under privacy. You scroll down and you will find here motion and fitness. And here is fitness tracking. Now, of course, there are apps like the health app that you need to have on. Of course, if you want to track your calories, the steps that you have made, everything about your health, it is really important, of course. But there are a lot of apps that you might have granted access to your movement, basically, and your fitness. You want to keep those off. Not all apps need to have access to these kind of data because they're collecting data from the motion chip and all that. And of course, that will consume battery CPU power and of course, decrease the performance of your device. So you want to turn off all the apps that you don't need to have access to your motion and fitness. And the last setting you should never turn on is also found under privacy. Scroll all the way down, you will have analytics and improvements. Now, right here we'll have share analytics for iPhone and Apple Watch, then you will have improved serial dictation and share iCloud analytics. All these will do is just share data with Apple to help them improve their products, of course. Now, it's not a bad thing to have these on, but of course, everything here requires battery and CPU power. So you don't want to do that. You don't want to share your data. You go ahead and always keep these settings off. So that is it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully you learned something new and these kind of configurations will help you get a better experience on your iPhone. Of course, better security, privacy, and overall a better performance and a better experience using your iPhone on a daily basis. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos and I will see you on the next one.